just put this hand choke on. Close the hand choke. Close the butterfly. It opens it up. Uh, this is old school. The computers do it anymore. They used to have... Now this model had one down here and it would come up. And uh, But it didn't come with that. I got the for free. So I put on a hand choke. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now today we're going to put on a hand choke. Uh, back in the 1950s and 1960s it was standard to have a hand choke on the car. And then they went to automatic hand chokes and then uh, the computers took over. So the computers are the ones choking the car. So I'm going to look at what I got here first. Put everything right here so I don't lose it. So we got the hand choke and we're going to kind of open it up. See how much room we got. Very simple. All this is a cable, like a bicycle cable or a brake cable. Push it out at your choke, push it in, no choke. So now we're going to go and find out where we can put it. Now a hand choke does exactly what it's supposed to do. It is supposed to choke the air from going in there, it gets gas, it starts easier. And as you go, you it's closed and then as you're going and it's warming up, you open the, cho the choke. So we've got to hook it over on this side, I don't have a choice. Uh, and let's look on the other side here. Here on the other side, when they step on the gas, that's the gas, uh, the choke uh, opens up. We control it by our hand and then it stays it stays uh, running high the idle because it has an idle screw right right there. So we got to hook it up. It's already self-contained. All you have to do is hook the wire up. So okay we'll look at that. So we're in the truck. Uh, we know the key switch is right here. You know the gas is over here and, and usually they would always put the choke over on this side. So I was looking for a way to put it in and here's the emergency brake which is I got a wire going to that. I'm going to put it over on this side. It's going to follow the emergency brake cable. I'm going to drill a hole in there. Down at the bottom, go right through and around. Now this is the part of it. And I got it going through the firewall. I'm going to hook it up in here. And it was a lot shorter than I thought. So it comes through my firewall right there, runs over here, right towards the carburetor. So that wire's got a hook up some way down here where that's that's closing when he oh nope, that's wrong. We gotta go this way. Well, I'm still figuring that one out. So I have this secured. Now I just have to secure this part to keep it from moving. That's what I'm going to do now. Now here's where we're at. I had to take this and make this do that because I, it wasn't closed, it was backwards. When this, when this gets pulled in, it has to close this way. You see the choke up there closing? And then I had to make sure my air cleaner fit, so I gotta get this down into there first. That's where that's gonna go. I got that in there through there, in through there like that. That's where I'm gonna put my little screw to lock that in. So that's open. And then I go inside. So now I, I pull the hand choke, the butterfly closes, push it, the butterfly opens up. And you bend that around like that. Open, that's closed, that's open, that's it. All done.